Hello, thank you for joining me. My name is Leah. I am the Scrappy Planner and I am going to do this week's plan with me for you. So I have pulled out a lot of things in my pre-planning to hopefully um, help expedite the plan with me today. Um, but let me just show you very quickly what we have in front of us. I pulled out just a couple of clips and I only pulled out two this week because they're fairly large um, and I felt like much more than this would be really cluttered. I only clipped them on half of the week at a time just for decoration. Um, so I pulled out a couple of uh, clips from my stash that I thought matched this week's kit. So let me put those off to the side until we are ready for them at the end. And hopefully I won't forget to add them this week. I did pull out some washi tapes from my stash. Um, again, just to coordinate with the theme this week. I have um, some skinny washies over here that I like to use for accents, dividers, etc. So um, I'll use some of these, may or may not use all of them. We'll see as we go. This week I am using a kit from Jackie at Pink Paper Plane. Um, this is part of her Beauty and the Beast kit. And I pulled out the sheets that are like um, Belle in Winter. I like to try to do a Disney theme once a month in my planner um, since I'm such a Disney addict. And this month, um, I just thought that this was really Disney and winter combined. Um, so I'm using this, and it's a great way to showcase Jackie's beautiful artwork. All of these are her original um, watercolor illustrations. I have a coupon code for her shop that I will link down below. It's 10% off if you use my code. So feel free to go over and check her out and tell her I sent you. And then also, I pulled um, just some other... This is a washi sample because I thought this one up here, this one that's kind of yellow with the roses. I don't have any Beauty and the Beast specific washi, but I'm going to incorporate this one because I thought it matched with the theme. And then these are just a bunch of um, sheets from my stash that I know I will use. I do have my large sticker storage box over to the side. Um, I'm throwing stickers around over here to pull from as needed. The pins that I pulled this week are, um, I'm just going to go with the black tool pin. This is the 0.5 gel. So there you go. And then this is a Pilot G2 and it is in gold metallic and it is the 0.7. Um, so those are the pins that I will be using this week. Off to the side, I also have my May Designs um, calendar. This is my 2018 and this is what I use for pre-planning. So I do have my notes for activities this week off to the side so that I can incorporate those as we go. Here is the current week. Today is uh, Sunday, January the 21st. So I am planning this week for Monday, January the 22nd to 28th. So first things first, I will take the pages out of this planner and in case you haven't seen this one before, this is the Happy Planner and it is the limited edition Glam Girl for 2018. Um, it's one of the Happy Planner Girls that uh, Stephanie came out with. Let me put that off to the side. I do like using the Happy Planner. Um, one of my favorite things about it is the ability to take the pages in and out of the planner. I've never had a problem with pages falling out. I've seen some people ask that question. Um, I've been using a Happy Planner for a couple years and just like the um, the ease of taking the pages out for decorative purposes and putting them right back in. Um, I do very often reinforce the center with washi and that does add just a little bit of thickness to it, a little bit of durability, but I also just like the way that it looks. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and put down the center washi punch it with my Happy Planner punch. I'll do the bottom washi and um, in case you have never seen me before, this is um, traditionally most shops make this as bottom washi for the Erin Condren. I like to use it as top washi and then add date covers as well. So I'm going to add this as my top washi this week. Uh, so I'm going to speed through this portion of the video so as not to bore you to tears. <music> So now that 
is done. I did have a little bit of technical difficulties and fixed it off camera. So um, anyway, I did add a little bit, I don't know if you saw me, of this gold foil washi to the center. Oh, I just like the way that it looked. Anyway, next I want to add some date covers. So I have pulled from my stash these date covers. So these are just some plain black and white date covers from Hurricane Randy Sticker Co. And then I have this sheet from Chrissy Ann Designs. It's actually, um, I think it was like in the month of August, but it's like an entire header for an EC monthly, which I don't have. Uh, but it does have all 31 dates down here just in black. So I'm going to use those on this week. So I'm going to go ahead and put down my date covers and I will be right back. We have our washi and date covers down. I'm going to move on to the weekend. I am going to use a, a, a double box. This one right here with Mrs. Potts and Chip for the weekend just because I think it's super cute and adorable. So let's, I have a fairly large weekend banner that I'm going to use this week. So I'm going to move this down to the next line. Um, below the center scallop to give myself a little bit more room for that weekend banner. So, oh, come on. All right, so now that we have those down, let's put a weekend banner across the top. The kit that I'm using did not have a weekend banner in it. So from my stash, I pulled these. They are from the library. I'll try to link her shop down below as well, but these are absolutely just these gorgeous floral weekend banners with the dainty little bow string at the top. Oh, can y'all see that? Isn't it beautiful? So let me put that down right across here. And I just thought that the colors would be beautiful with this kit and that floral, but you know what? I want a little something right across here since it dips down a little and I don't see this kit doesn't have washi so from my stash I'm going to see if I can find perhaps some glitter washi that I like nope I found something better I'm going to use this I believe our weekend banner down with our double box. Um, the next thing that I like to do is I like to note my outfits each week, Monday through Friday for the work week. Um, I do sometimes plan these in advance and sometimes it's just a matter of recording them so that I don't wear the same thing over and over and over again. So I did pull some really skinny washi and I think I'm going to use this skinny foil washi to create the look of a half box up here at the top. So let's try that very quickly. I'm trying something a little bit different this week with this. So let's see how it works. I have these bows. These are from the Preppy Planner, and as you can see, I have used a lot of them already. I'm going to use this light blue color down here on the bottom for my outfits each day. I'll zoom you in just a tad so you can see how that turned out. There we go. All right, we'll put those off to the side. And next, let's take a look at... Oh, I know what I need to mark this week. So our German Shepherd Thor, I shared with you last week, has to go through a lot of medicine and baths and things. So he will have just a few more days of medicine. And then um, his bath that he has to do every other day actually is for a month. So we will continue that this week. I need to make note of that in my planner so that we make sure Thor Thor gets his baths. 
All right, so across the bottom here, I'm gonna put this skinny strip of red washi just to pick up some of the red in the kit. Okay, there is our red washi across the bottom. I am going to pull out my German Shepherd stickers. Um, I used these last week in my plan with me. Okay, these are from Adriana Piper and these are my German Shepherd since Thor's a German Shepherd. So I'm gonna put these across the bottom. Okay, so we've got our Thor stickers down every day of the week. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and add on Monday a nice big coffee sticker. These are also from Jackie at Pink Paper Plane. I adore her stickers, so we're going to add that one right there. Um, I do like to start my work weeks off with coffee. So add that right there, and then I think right here across the center. Love it. Okay. Um, and then, all right, we have um, a very good friend of ours is in town. Um, we have kind of an adopted daughter. She was like an international exchange student several years ago and um, even though she didn't live with us full time, our family sort of adopted her. Her name is Eben, and she is from and currently lives in Denmark. But she is in town visiting for a little while with some friends. She has a lot of friends here in the town where we live. Um, and we are having dinner with her on Monday night. So I definitely want to make a note of that in my planner because that's special and something that we don't do every week. And I'm going to add a fun tassel banner here as well. And I have several different tassel banners. I think I'm going to use these. Um, these are from Felicia at Libby & Co. I'm going to use one of these dark blue ones just so it will stand out a bit in my planner. Here we go. And I will just add our dinner plans in when I write things in. Okay, and then on Tuesday, our other dog, Rudy, is actually going to be spending the day with Eben and her boyfriend, Daryl. Um, we got Rudy from Daryl when he moved over to Denmark to live with Eben for a while. Um, he needed to rehome Rudy, so we took him, and we absolutely love him. So this is my little Rudy sticker. So Rudy's going to spend the day with Eben and Daryl. Make a note of that. On Wednesday, we have our weekly meeting at work. Um, and I have shared before that I am in charge of our donut schedule, which is a real thing. Um, so I'm going to use one of these little skinny um, like headers from the kit. And I'm going to put this right under here to mark whose turn it is to bring the donuts because that is super important in our office. I cannot even begin to tell you how upset the people I work with would be if we had a meeting on a Wednesday and no one brought donuts. I, like, everybody would, like, kill me, I swear. Um, and these are Jackie's Donut Stickers, um, pink paper plane. So we'll use one of these. We'll use this fun, bright pink one. Even though it's larger than that box, that's really okay. Totally okay with that. Um, all right, and then... All right, so that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That's really all I have like super planned for right now. This is not a very, very busy week this week. Um, let's see, Thursday, I have my Weight Watcher meeting at lunch. There we go. All right, and I will stick with um, a more traditional sticker here for Weight Watchers at lunch. I do have some scale stickers. Um, let's see which ones I like. They're over here off to the side. These are from Planner Kate, and I'm going to use this very pretty yellow one right here, and we're gonna stick it right there. There we go. 
and I just mark my weekly change every week on the scale. I don't write everything in. Um, and then on Friday, the only thing that I have in my planner right now is that I need to check my kids' grades. I have shared before that I do have two children. Um, one is a senior in high school and the other is a junior in college and I check their grades every Friday to ensure that they are on track and focused on school like they should be. So I'm going to use this pencil. I usually use a pencil in my planner. I'm having a struggle this week to get this one down. Gosh, man what a struggle. All right, we'll pull it up three times. Doesn't matter. I will win, sticker. This one um, is from Lily Henry. So it's this really pretty rainbow palette of stickers, um, pencils there. So we'll put that on Friday. Saturday, I have our girls' night out. And then Sunday is youth day at church. So our morning church service, um, all the, the youth will run the entire service. So it's really fun and special. And my son, like I shared, is a senior in high school. So this is our, you know, kind of last year of it. Um, I think I'm going to use this darker, um, is that what I want? I thought I had some church half boxes and I guess I don't. I think I want to use this full box. Um, these also are from Lily Henry, and it's just the rainbow colors, these church icons. So I'm going to put that there. There we go. And I will just write in that that is Youth Sunday at church. Um, so a special day. My son has a part in the service, but I really don't know what it is, to tell you the truth. Um, he does have flag football. Um, on Sunday afternoon, so I'm just going to put in kind of a skinny, like, appointment label to mark that in my planner so that I know what he's got going on. Um, let's see, what colors do we have that we like? I think this kind of light blue glitter from Scribble Prints Co. will work quite nicely. There we go, and then I have some little tiny footballs. I'll put one in right there. Um, let's see. Sunday night, I'm going to put in, just because I don't want to miss it, it's not really a big deal, but Hallmark, I'm like so addicted to the Hallmark channel, and they, every Sunday night, have like a new um, murder, like mystery movie, Hallmark original movie this whole month um, and so I've been t tuning into those every Sunday night so I just want to make a little note in my planner about that so I'm gonna flip through these really quick okay so I think I'm gonna use um, this sheet this is from Felicia at Libby & Co this was a $2 Tuesday glitter sampler and I like this kind of gold glitter looking one I'm going to put this down here and we'll add just a little TV icon. So these are my littles from Felicia and I'm pretty sure I have TVs in here somewhere. I can find them. All right. As you can see, I love her stickers because I have a ton of them. I do have these. I thought I had some multicolor ones and I might not. It's okay. This is just a little, this one's transparent. See that? Isn't that cute? So it's just kind of a black outline of a TV. We'll put that there for now. And it's okay. Thought that I had like the multicolor ones like this. I can't seem to find them as I'm flipping through here. And obviously we don't want to wait all day to flip through here. Oh well, no big deal. We'll use the outline one. I like that very much. Um, okay, so we have Youth Sunday, Flag Football, TV. All right, there we go. Um, let's see. Okay, 
I want to pull in a few other kind of decorative type elements from the kit. So I have these beautiful full boxes. Um, let's see. I'm going to do this one right here. It's really pretty bell on like this yellowy background. I'm going to put her, maybe I'll put her down here. She is really pretty. There we go. I like that. She ties in very nicely with the red washi. And then here we have the full box. It's absolutely beautiful. Just the rose. Look at that. Oh my gosh. If you are a Disney fan at all, how can you not love that? It is stunning. I'm going to put it over here on my sidebar. It's beautiful. And I just like to have some pretty things over here. And I love having the rose right there. Okay. So let's see. What am I forgetting? Um, I think that's most of our major plans for the week. With me, I am going to use my pen and fill in all of these plans. So I'll speed through this part and I will be right back. added our weekly stuff to the list everything that I had yikes on my schedule to add for this week I have put in here I'm going to add this box up here on Saturday this is just little little Cogsworth and these are um, errands that I'll end up running on Saturday I'm not going to fill them in right now because it might change between now and well Saturday but I'm going to leave that right there for now. Um, and I think I'm going to go ahead and add in another one of these tassel banners just for decoration to fill in this white space right here. So we'll pull these off of our Libby & Co. sheet. As you can tell, I really like them. That's why there's not many left on that sheet. So there we go. All right, so we have a cute little fun tassel banner right there. I ended up with a lot of um, kind of foil accent on this week, and I'm just not mad about it. I like it. I like the way this washi came in down here um, with all the roses on it. So this is what we have. This is what we're working with this week. Let me add in the clips. And like I said, I typically have my planner um, laying out a half week at a time. So I'll kind of show you what that looks like. So even though that rose isn't red, doesn't bother me in the least. So these are also from Planner Kate, and I think I'm going to use one of these light blue ones. It's just a cute little mailbox. Uh, we'll just stick that right there and write in Happy Mail. And then any packages that are received this week, I'll just keep a little note of them. I like having this kind of off to the side so I can look back and see what's going on, what I get. Did I get anything fun? There we go. All right, so now we have our little Happy Mail tracker on the side. All right, so guys, that's how the full week looks laid out. I do have a couple of fun little clips. I have a lot of stickers left over from the kit. So let's see, we have these and these. So I will probably pull in um, some more of these as the week goes on. I do a lot of planning as I go, like I said, throughout the week. Um, 
So stay tuned for that. I usually post um, midweek and end of week pictures over on Instagram. I want to thank you for joining me. Um, in just a moment, I am going to film a plan with me in my micro traveler's notebook. That is my little baby boxy number zero. It's this one. I filmed one of those last week and it got a really good response here on the channel. So we'll do it again this week. So if you want to check that one out, uh, take a look out for it on my channel and tune into that one as well. As always, I will link all of the shops mentioned down below as well as any coupon codes that I might have to share with you. I want to thank you again and y'all stay tuned for more planner content. Until next time. Bye guys.